YouTube, what's going on? Kevin, the Tech Ninja here. And today we're talking about what's on my Mac. Some of the applications, utilities that I use every single day, you know, making my videos, editing my videos and things like that. Um, this is for when I travel, when I'm on the go. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, you notice I have no icons on my desktop. Um, I'm actually using a application called Hide Me. It actually hides the desktop icons. And it's just a simple button here that you see in your little tray icons. You just click up here and click Hide Desktop Icons, and then the desktop icons are gone. It's very simple, and it's something I really like to do because it just makes things look a whole lot better, obviously, when you're missing out, when you, well, when you don't have icons, and when you're doing screen records and things like that. I just like to not have icons. And this application is Unsplash Wallpapers. And the way it works is very simple. You click on here and then it goes through the Unsplash Wallpapers library. And then you just go ahead and select random and it goes through all these wallpapers. And when you find one that you absolutely love, you go ahead and press set as wallpaper. And boom, here it is on your, on your background. Big fan of this application, have no problems with it. And it's just extremely simple to use. So the next application is one that I use to keep my Mac running clean. It's a legit cleaning app and it has loads of features to keep things running smooth. So when dealing with large video files, I find myself running out of space a lot and being able to just adjust things and clear things up with one click of a button is really nice. Now, since this Mac is a few years old now, I do want to keep it running new. Um, so I do need to clear space out and make sure anything that shouldn't be on there is removed. So what I like to do is click on Smart Scan and let it run through its search. This is the easiest way to optimize your computer. And this cleans up unused files, deleted files, large files, and then Protect. What it does is searches my files to ensure I didn't download any malware or spyware or anything that could be tracking me without me knowing. And then lastly, it goes into optimizations uh, in the speed section. So what this does is stop some apps from loading when Mac OS loads and a lot of other tweaks inside of there as well. But if you do want granular control and just run one of the tools, you just go into the menu and select that tool and then you can run it from there instead of doing just a smart scan. All in all, this application is one that I didn't really know about a few months back, but now it is a tool that I run at least a couple times a week. Click on the link in the description box to learn more and download a free trial of Clean My Mac X. The next application that I like to use is called Tooth Fairy, and it's an application that manages Bluetooth a little bit better than the Mac natively does. So um, for example, let's say you have AirPods or you have Bluetooth headphones. Um, what you can do is with the Tooth Fairy app, you can actually add it to your system. So Tooth Fairy, and then what you can, what you can do is press the plus button and then anything you have Bluetooth wise, you click on it and then you add it to your, to your bar. So for example, I have my AirPods with the AirPod icon and then I have my, my Bose with the headphone icon. And what this does is when you actually click on the icon, so I'm clicking on the AirPods icon, what it does, it spins and then it connects to the AirPods. Um, the reason you do that is because right now the way it is, you have to go into Bluetooth and you have to select connect, but it doesn't actually work all the way sometimes and you actually have to go into these menus. This is a one click way to connect. It's really good because I have my AirPods on my iPhone a lot and let's say I wanna to listen to something on the Mac. Um, what I'll have to do is disconnect from the phone sometimes to get it connect here. Um, with Tooth Fairy, I just click on the AirPods icon and then it connects straight to the AirPods without any um, struggles or anything like that. So uh, it's $2, uh, it's, it's kind of a lot for what it is, but I found this application to be one that I use several times a day. So to me, it actually ends up being worth it. This next application is sort of silly, but I use it a lot. It's like a fake control alt delete coming from Windows. I always loved having the control alt delete to do the things I need like a task manager and shut down and things like that. Um, this application lets you do control alt delete. So there's option, uh, control option delete. And then this brings up this little screen right here. And this is essentially like a control alt delete. You have your task manager, you can, you can quit, you can force quit apps, you can log off, reset, shut down, all from this little menu here. And it's just easy to do with this keyboard shortcut. I know it, it's silly, it's remedial, but it's something that I find extremely useful, especially coming from Windows. This next application is Copy Clip. It's a keyboard manager, and it's just extremely minimalistic and easy to use. It sits up right here at the very top of your screen. 
you click it and then after that you'd have all of your clippings right here and then you click on the clipping to paste it or add it to your clipboard also if you use the command keys you can do like command four and then you'll go ahead and paste the fourth thing that's copied already well the fifth thing that's copied already you can add keyboard shortcuts so you can just get into it by using a quick keyboard shortcut if you want or you can just go up top to use it um, extremely simple to use and I love having this because sometimes I copy things and I uh, copy something else replace the clipboard this is just a easy clipboard manager um, very no frills and I like apps that are very minimal and this right here is just a very minimal uh, clipboard manager and just something super simple to use so for email, I like to use Spark, although I can't show it because it's my actual inbox and things like that. But I do like using Spark email a ton. Um, I find it extremely simple to use. Uh, I like the way that it organizes your emails. I like the way it pins items, it's just very nice. And there's a nice application for Android and iOS, which just makes organizing my inbox a little bit easier. Gmail is great, don't get me wrong, but I think this right here just gives me more powerful things like snooze and snooze when I get to a certain location and um, you know email reminders read receipts and the last application I want to show you is bear um, it's bear it's a note keeping app it's an application that I use to keep notes it's like uh, Google keep or it's notes um, it does have a subscription model which I'm not a huge fan of but this application is just really nice um, it's minimal which I, I definitely like uh, and it just keeps everything organized it tells you the last time you accessed it from his left hand side and just has a lot of uh, visual UI tweaks that makes the app extremely cool um, you could uh, post pictures in it you can have um, a lot of these codes you can um, break things down with uh, bullet points and links and just overall it just keeps notes organized I'm using such a small slither of it but um, I'm gonna utilize it more and more and I just find this app um, extremely useful to me and that's just my go-to notes keeping application and one that uh, yeah I highly recommend if you take your notes seriously and this last application because I come from Windows once again um, I miss the ability to snap windows when you when you're actually using Windows uh, you know being able to slide your window to the right and it snaps or slide it down well this application allows you to do that it brings that functionality to Mac so um, I can move this to the far right and now I can actually make it a window like this and then if I open up a window like Safari I can then snap it and now I have two windows here without having to resize it individually also it allows for keyboard shortcuts which admittedly I don't use they're kind of hard to use but if you use the keyboard shortcuts you can then move windows around but I find this uh, application I use it all the time because I, I always work on multiple things I'll have uh, like a document up here or something here and it just makes things a whole lot easier especially if you're working on one screen anyways guys that was it everything I talked about is linked down below and a big thank you one more time to clean my Mac for sponsoring this content and uh, yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.